Graz is the second largest city in Austria. Its historic center and clock tower have earned it a place on the list of World Cultural Heritage Sites. Walter Golob is stationed at Talahuf Airport with his aircraft. With his highly maneuverable machines, he flies out on assignments at times when other people stay firmly on the ground. I didn't realize that you could develop such a passion, because at first I simply looked for a way to make a living with the plane. The enthusiasm came when I started flying. There are two sides to it. On the one hand, flying is incredibly interesting, as every day is different during a storm. It's very exciting, and that's part of the thrill. Walter Golob is a so-called hail bomber. When thunderclouds turn into hail clouds, the pilots must take off immediately to save the harvests of the fruit and wine growers. I'm getting on a bit now, but I still enjoy flying. For the last 25 years, I've spent five months a year here in my caravan, from the beginning of May until the end of September. From the of May until the end of September, here in Wohnwagen gewohnt. Only when the weather forecast said that there wouldn't be any bad weather for two days did I dare go home to my wife. One time, I was just walking up the drive when my wife came towards me, telling me to turn back. Thunderstorm approaching Graz. <laughs> the pilots often have to decide quickly whether to take off. When we see a thunderstorm approaching very fast, we sometimes set off an hour earlier. People are surprised and wonder why we're flying when the sky is blue. The 70-year-old and his colleagues know that trouble is brewing. A cloud several kilometers high reaching far up into the cold air masses. This means it will release hail instead of rain. Situated at the southeastern edge of the Alps, Graz and surroundings are particularly prone to hailstorms. Warm air from the southeast hits cold air from the mountains. With their aircraft, Golob and his team fly right into the eye of the storm when all other pilots would make a large detour. But this is where the hail bombers must fire their ammunition, silver iodide, which is burned in large combustion chambers attached to the plane. Golob quickly reaches the cloud seen on the weather radar. He fires the combustion chambers so that the silver iodide can flow out. Its fine molecules serve as condensation nuclei. Millions of them are injected into the cloud on each mission, causing small drops to develop, turning hail into rain. But flying through thunderclouds is highly dangerous. When you're in the cloud, you can't see anything apart from perhaps snow or raindrops coming towards you. I have great respect for every cloud. You shouldn't underestimate this job.
Today, Walter Golob aimed his ammunition well and land safely on the airfield. The mighty thunderclouds send their load down as rain. 